Welcome back, YouTubers and Man fans. This is Mad Money Shop. Bringing you another Madden 19 gameplay video. Today, I had a video in mind where I wanted to basically show you uh, one of the new schemes that I put out, uh, which is basically what you're going to see this entire game. This gameplay right here, I know I started a little bit late. I'm already down 3 nothing, but um, this gameplay right here, I never intended to put out in a gameplay. Um, I just basically started up a game. I planned on running a scheme so I could have uh, some clips to put at the beginning of one of my Money Play videos, uh, but it ended up being a really good game. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here. I'm going to put this gameplay out, showing you guys um, you know, how some of these plays work. Uh, while at the same time, I'll put a link in the description for the plays, for the plays themselves, the breakdowns for them. Uh, but realistically, uh, I actually want to use this gameplay as a moment to clarify some things from a former video. Now, first off, I put out a video. It was very successful, very popular. Uh, it got about 10,000 views in two days, which is really good for me, especially since it's a gameplay video. A lot of people don't really um, give my, my gameplay videos that type of attention. But you probably saw it if you're, if you're a subscriber of mine. It was based, I'll, I'll pop a link for that, too, um, if you guys want to check that out. So basically, you know what I'm referring to. But basically, in that video, I tried to rip Matt a new asshole because really only one topic. I've never complained about the gameplay. Um, you know, BS happens. You know, some of the animations aren't great. Whatever. I never really complain about the gameplay. I don't really complain about the plays people run. You know what I'm saying? Complaining, to an extent, is something that you do when you lose. And I don't really lose to the point where I feel the need to do that. But I will complain when I feel like the loss is predetermined. This is something that a lot of people think doesn't really exist but if you do a little research you actually find out that EA themselves has put out public records acknowledging that it does exist and they didn't do it because of any other reason other than they think that it's a benefit to stockholders and, and potential uh, you know prospective stockholders basically the idea behind DDA is they basically predetermine that you will lose certain games and that if you're not very good at the game you win certain games and the way that this works is if you're on like a seven game win streak or even maybe not even that much They'll pair you up with somebody that is on a couple of games with losing streak and they'll basically give that guy all the benefits. When the game's loading up, when the loading screen is happening and you're seeing, you know, you just think it's, you know, hey, they're just pairing us. No, what they're really doing is they're lowering your rates or, you know, the opposite or they're raising your rates based on what side of the, uh, the perspective you're on. Uh, but they're basically lowering and raising the rates so that they match to either give you an advantage or disadvantage based off of how you know how good or how bad you've been playing recently. Because they know that if you stop, if you get frustrated, you lose too many games, you're like, you know what, I suck. I'm just gonna get rid of this game. That's not what they want. They want you to play forever. They want you to keep playing. They want you to. They want. They, they call it like a. It's like a certain ratio where they know that they'll keep you, uh, but they'll also keep you wanting more. And by wanting more, what it traditionally is means it means you buy more packs. Say you lose because your cornerback sucked in the game. Well, now you're going to go out and you're going to try to, you know, buy packs to get the new best player. That's basically the idea. It's all related around that. The real idea behind this is say you have a 90-something overall player and the new player in that position drops. Well, now the player that you have who was great as long as he's, you know, he's been great for you always. You know what I'm saying? You could have, you know, a 90-something Barry Sanders or something like that. But say a new card drops that's a running back. Now all of a sudden your running back's not as fast. You know what I'm saying? They basically admit that because they're trying to push, like I said, once again, they're trying to push more packs so the player that you had that's been working great for you all of a sudden doesn't have that same ability he's not as fast he's not as agile all those things go down the second they release a hot new item in that particular um, in that particular position or, or whatever and that's how it goes that's how they get you to keep buying packs that's why I've never bought in a pack for this game all my stuff is no money spent I don't endorse buying packs I've never done pack opening videos because I know realistically it's a scam to an extent and when you see your favorite YouTuber dropping a bunch of points or, you know, you think they're dropping their money, those were given to them by EA. EA supplies them with the points so that they do the pack opening videos so that they pr basically get you to do packs. So all those big YouTubers, Toke, KKS, all them, whatever, they're getting those for free. You know what I'm saying? EA gives them cards with printed out codes that they basically, it's just giveaways, printed out codes on these cards that they basically get millions of points for free. Uh, you know, so every time you see that, they're not spending their money. You're spending your real money, but they're getting that for free. So you just basically, it almost like normalizes it when it's not really the case. But I know ultimately that that's where they make all their money anyway. You know what I mean? Like it, it, even if you buy packs, you're not really getting the advantage that you want. And that's one of my real things that I really can't stand about DDA. Like I said, it exists. It's not a fiction of anybody's imagination. Is you basically put in all the time to have an advantage so that you can, you know, taste sweet victory all the time or whatever. But you lose it anyway. You know what I mean? Even if you buy it, you lose it anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you don't really get any advantage that you that you're trying to put all that time in to get. And to be honest, I don't really build my team for an advantage. I enjoy building my team in my if you want to know the truth about it. I don't really um, you know like 
it's not really all about getting advantages. It's just about getting a team that uh, fits me, and I just like having a really good team. So that you know, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about that. It's just fun to build your mutt team. But if you don't play much, if you play CFM, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you build your CFM team, you get a hot young running back that's you know going to be a Hall of Famer in 10 years and stuff like that. It's exciting. It's exciting to put together a great team. There's even a sense of pride in what you've built. You know what I'm saying? You're building something. So there's you know there's more to it than that. Now since I'm going in on EA, uh, pretty much exposing a lot of these things, which you know have been exposed in the past. I'm not going to say that somebody hasn't already put out some of this information. I was watching somebody uh, basically break down a lot of this stuff, not as quickly as I am and, and as complete as I am, but uh, realistically, this is not n new information. This is information that's been out a while. Uh, and I don't really see any reason for them to change that. Uh, I even think, you know, I don't even know enough about this, but I'm pretty sure that they had something to the effect um, where packs were like considered gambling and to the point where they weren't, EA's not even supposed to do that anymore. But I don't even, I mean, it is gambling. You know what I mean? You're paying for something, you're not getting what you want. You know what I mean? That's basically the essence of gambling. You have a chance of getting what you want. That's gambling. You know what I mean? So there's something to that. But realistically, uh, like I said, I have a personal uh, issue with EA. And it's the fact that they're constantly patching the stuff that I put out. I mean, realistically, I don't have a problem with the fact that they're patching the stuff that I put out. I have a problem with the fact that they're acting like they don't know who I am. They've never once invited me to EA Game Changers or any of those things. They just patch my stuff and keep it moving. Like, come on. Like, if, if I'm a real game changer, okay? You're changing the game based off of what I do. And then you don't, then you disregard me. It's not even stuff online. I put out a video on how to, just, how to get top 100 in solo battles. You know what I'm saying? It's not even against a person. The, the computer's not even going to feel cheated. And they changed it. Like, like in, a, in a horrible, uh, you know, it's such an obvious fashion. They changed it on how to beat the computer in a solo battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are coming at me that hard, and then you don't want to give me credit? So, like I said, I doubt I'll ever get invited to Game Changers. And ultimately, I don't really care. But realistically, I just think that, um, you know, it's, it's a fraudulent thing. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to say it's called Game Changers... But you're not actually inviting the people that make you change the game. I mean, like I said, what it basically is like, what, you got some problem with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm basically just, what I think I'm doing is putting out a good place. You know what I mean? Good stuff for people to use so the people that follow my channel have an ability uh, to win, which is ultimately what they want. But if you think what I'm doing is something less than that, you know what I'm saying? You can reach out to me. You, I, I reached out to you guys recently. But like I said, I don't really see it happening. So it is what it is. I'm not really going to go on with that too much. But realistically, they've been doing that for years. There's so many, since Madden 17, they've been changing this game based off of the stuff that I showed uh, that works. So it is what it is. Last but not least, though, I kind of want to get at the community because it's not all EA. You know what I'm saying? To a certain extent, people just don't really appreciate what EA does. I, I complain about EA, uh, not off, not a lot, but I've done it in a couple of videos now just to get it off my chest. But realistically, EA does a really good job with what they do. They put out a game every year. You know how hard it is to put out a game every year? You know what I'm saying? Most AAA titles are double, you know, great titles. It takes like five years to put out a game. But EA cranks one out every year so that we have a brand new experience uh, in Madden and we don't give them enough credit for that. We also hold them accountable in ways that we don't hold other games accountable. If there's a glitch in Madden or if there's a bug in Madden, it, it's like it's an end all be all and we act like they don't know what they're doing. But if there's a glitch in Fallout or if there's a glitch in uh, you know any of the games like Skyrim or something like that, nobody cares. It's actually funny. You know what I'm saying? It's like they make videos about it. It's comical. It gives the game personality. But the second it costs you a game in Madden, you want to like burn your house down based off the fact that you lost the game. Maybe it's that we take it too seriously. That's the problem. You know what I mean, if you play another game mode, like like I said, any games that I mentioned, and they have those problems, you don't really care. But the second it becomes competitive because we take it so seriously, then it becomes like the end all be all, and we act like they don't know how to make a game. I think that they make a really good game. I love this game. This personally, to me, Madden 19 is one of the best games that they made. Even when you get BS, like I said, you're gonna see right here. I'm about to get BS, but I'm not gonna cry about it. That's another issue entirely: is people that complain about this game. Uh, not not necessarily, you know, about the game to EA, but like say you're in a CFM. We always know those people that cry about, you know, losing all the time to the point where they're basically just trying to overthrow the good players. They basically treat this game like it's a game of Survivor. Like when Survivor first came out, it was based off, you're supposed to win based off the challenges. But people got together and they realized like, look, if somebody's really strong, we'll just get together and vote them out. And that's what people do in CFMs. And it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like the top players have to watch out, watch their backs, and almost try to win a social game just so they can win a regular game in Madden. So like I said, I stopped playing CFMs because I got tired of trying to win a social game to just win a game. I just want to win a game. You know what I'm saying? There's not enough 
games out there's not enough leagues out there like that where it's just like gameplay only you know deal with it don't cry about it and just handle it there's way too many people in this community that think that there's something wrong with the people that win rather than themselves because they're not winning and then they try to rationalize it with oh it's got to be a realistic experience you know what i'm saying like a realistic nfl experience it's an nfl simulation it's a video game it's no different than somebody going rambo in a, in a in a gun game like cod or something nobody cries like that's not realistic nobody ever says it's not realistic that some dude can run around regenerating health and, and basically just going on a shooting rampage and killing and killing 100 people on a battlefield you don't hear that but you still hear people complaining about what gun you use or what perks you use you know what i'm saying it's the same thing people still complain but the basis of it is that they just couldn't win you know what I mean? It is what it is. Like, not you just just have a realistic uh, expectation. Just know that hey, I'm not that great. I've got games like that. There's games that I enjoy playing that I realize I'm just not that great. I like playing PUBG. I'm not the best in the world at PUBG. I can win some games, but I'm not the best in the world at it. It is what it is. But I'm not gonna go around and expect everybody else to change to suit me. So that's it. That's the game. If you guys want to see more gameplay footage like this, if you want to hear more opinions about the state of the Madden community, do me a favor to like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Madden Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.